Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to part two of the EP collection. And uh, uh, the uh, on the last video, I sort of stopped all of a sudden because I realised that in fact I'd gone 41 seconds over the 14 minutes that uh, YouTube allow me. So um, sorry about that. But anyway. Um, I'm back now, so this is part two of the two parts on EPs. But uh, before I start, I just thought I'd uh, chat to you about this album. This is the um, box set of eight records on the golden age of British dance bands, which um, I've had in my collection for some while now. I bought it on eBay about four or five years ago, and uh, it's a really great collection. But I noticed that uh, when I was uh, going through it this morning just to put some different music on the uh, SP Garrard SP25 Mark III that um, this picture of Roy Fox also appears in this month's or this quarter's uh, edition of Memory Lane uh, which uh, has a fetching picture of Al Bowley on the cover uh, an unreleased picture apparently uh, that was found uh, I think it was uh, either with Lou Stone or Roy Fox's collection uh, which is interesting to say, uh, and they've added in a few little bits up here, these stars, and uh, but inside, if I just turn the page over, there's a picture which, on the front album cover there, you could see that, which is almost identical to the one in that picture, so a slightly different shot. Uh, and uh, Roy Fox, Danny Dale collection, and that's uh, the Memory Lane uh, CD collection, along with some other ones, uh, you notice there. Um, this particular edition, and the only one who's interested in British Dance Band needs to be a member of Memory Lane, because they do produce some wonderful information. It comes out quarterly, and this is the spring uh, edition so if you haven't signed up I certainly would recommend it there's loads of stuff in here and some beautiful photographs of the uh, recording uh, and even um, a section on this bit by Robert Ashley who I'd never heard of in fact I can't find Robert Ashley on YouTube either so he's obviously not known that much um, a new biography uh, of Lou Stone written by Tony Stavaker Stavaker is it published in paperback last December and uh, certainly I'm thinking about, I might get that. I've read the Al Bowley, this one here. Uh, they called him L, which is a great read. But in here also, we've got uh, some other bits and pieces. Let me just flip through for you. There we go. L Bowley recording contract solo, the final years, 1937 to 1941. And uh, there's even a bit there from his master's voice. Uh, L Bowley, 1938, part of the letter to him from HMV and one of his HMV solo uh, labels. That's quite a good picture there and uh, he's obviously having a good time there, having a good smile, showing off his white teeth and his very slick black hair. So um, anyway, that particular article is by, by Terry Brown, so I have read that. It's quite interesting, actually interesting updates. But anyway, getting back, just moving on, this is this box set. If you ever see uh, another, another copy of this on eBay, I'd definitely be inclined to put a bid on it because it is a fantastic album set eight great records in a nice uh, box uh, nice boxes as well right just to update also i've got some 78s uh, my friend uh, my favorite singer and shelton i found this one in a local charity shop that i mentioned to you earlier the kent heart the uh, heart of kent hospice uh, on the decca label and uh, i just you know, love these records, they're wonderful. The world is mine tonight. It's rather warm, this I have to say. Obviously, well played because uh, it's a bit scratchy in places. The flip side to this, if you can call it that, I suppose, is uh, All in the Garden Afternoon. All in the Golden, sorry, All in the Golden Afternoon. And uh, that's better, that sounds better actually. Anne sounds much better on that. That's that one. Um, on the Phillips label, she must have been recording with Phillips later, this is a late copy of course, 1950s I reckon this came out, Lay Down Your Arms and uh, with the uh, with Wally Scott and his orchestra and chorus and I think actually if I'm right, I think that Noel Coward might have done a recording with him, I can't be sure, but I'm sure that name rings about me and uh, that was one of her favourite hits and also on the other side, Daydreams. So. So, and that's on the 78 BB 616. So, on the, Phillips, the original Phillips cover there. 
Right, Frankie Lane, A Woman in Love, 1950. See, these, these came in these rather fetching red covers. I have to say, I need to repair this, but obviously they were part of a box, uh, steel box collection, I thought. B side to this one is Make Me a Child Again. So, with Paul Walton and the music of the Hollywood and the uh, Merry, Merry Men there. So, uh, there we go. Three Brothers by Elma Cogan. I quite like Elma Cogan. Again, on the HMV, pale green. I used to have loads of these when I was a lad. So, and uh, a B side to this one is You, Me and Us by El McCogan. And in fact, I remember I've got a single of uh, Martina McCutcheon singing that very song on a B side to her CD some years ago, going back about five years, I think, and thought that was a song, a new song for her, but clearly this one's been kicking about a bit. Right, uh, Vipers. Vipers Drag by Fats Waller. That's a great LP. Uh, LP 78 on uh, uh, on the uh, HMV label here. The B side to that is Alligator Crawl. That's another great one. Uh, Every Street Boulevard in the Old New York by Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. That's a great number. Uh, again, this red red label uh, cover here which must have been part of a box collection how do you speak of a uh, how do you speak to an angel by Dean Martin uh, great number and this one is by Diana uh, um, Diana Durbin and um, spring in, in my heart and this is a great this is a this is a 12 inch and she really does sing beautifully on this one I might put the posting onto uh, YouTube you can't see it very well there with the camera but it's on the Brunswick label so great number right back to the um, EPs we've got yesterday's uh, memorable melodies by Jerome Kern Russ Case and his orchestra uh, why was I born uh, don't ever leave me who she didn't say yes uh, lovely to look at and the touch of your hand I've told you every little star uh, Bill and then on that one so interesting of line notes there by uh, 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 Russ Case and his orchestra by Bill uh, Zidtag I think has written the notes there so Songs of Protest. This is an interesting uh, set here. Songs of Protest, the Ian Campbell group. Viva la Quince Brigada, I think you pronounce that. Um, we Will Overcome, uh, the boys from of Wexford, and the Peat Bog Soldiers. Now, the Peat Bog Soldiers, it says on the back, was actually an anti-Nazi song during coming up to the Second World War, which I thought was interesting. And Doma Vita and the, Cut the Cutty Wren. So, quite interesting numbers, those. Five Pennies. Now I've got the LP that goes with Five Pennies, and uh, it's uh, Danny Kay and Louis Armstrong uh, and uh, Red Nichols there. And uh, what I like about this is this is line drawing that goes with it. It's quite interesting here. These bits here, but also on the back of the album, you've got the Five Pennies, which features on the LP. Uh, and it says here in an exciting original soundtrack of Paramount Pictures, The Five Pennies. And it's quite a good number, actually. It's not a, I can't say it's a terribly popular film, but uh, good numbers on there. Oh, that one's upside down. What have we got here? This is... Uh, Lonely Tonight by Gene Putney. And on the, on the A side of a thought, it's going to be 24 Hours from Tusa. So that's one of his famous ones and obviously the person that owned this was somebody called Cork right theme from A Summer Place Percy Faith obviously this is the time that the the uh, film came out because they've got um, from the Warner Brothers motion picture A Summer Place starring Richard Egan Dorothy McGuire and Sandra D. on the back there it tells you all about Percy Faith Faith and his distinguished orchestra, the aura, the aura, aura of uh, aura of uh, elegance, created the quality, tasteful sense, and musical beauty. So, right, the time has come by Adam Faith, another Adam Faith on polyphone, uh, stuck in a London label, but never mind. Uh, in case there we are on the back, help each other romance 
up a game with by uh, Adam Fake. And last but not least, we have uh, your your answer to me by Cleo Lane. So and uh, directed by Johnny. Is it Johnny Gregory on the bottom? That's side one. Side two. I only have eyes for you. So a little bit worn this uh, single, but uh, very nice all the same. Anyway, that's all the records got to, got to talk to you about at the moment. I have got some new ones, which I've just got from the charity shop. But um, I think that's all for now. And uh, see you all very much. See you all later, and uh, look forward to your comments.